Hi everyone and welcome to a new series of Bobby Whitman's Vlogs! So Abby and I are back for the 2019-2020 season where we're going to be bringing you match day vlogs of all Pompey women's competitive games. Now last season we managed to do every single one of Pompey women's Whoa. games. Wow. That was some season, we really enjoyed it, Pompey women securing the cup double and we hope to do as many if not all of the games again this season. So yeah. in this first video of the new season we're just going to do a little intro. Um, Abby's joining us for the um, sort of opening of this video and she's going to be on a bed shortly and I'll record the rest. Um, I'm going to be taking you through the um, makeup of Pompey's League, the new teams who have joined us in it. I'm also going to talk you through our summer signings, and I've even got an interview with one of them, Charmaine True. Um, and we recently, yesterday, we played Crystal Palace in our last pre-season friendly. Um, and after the game, I grabbed a few of the players and the manager, just a quick interview with them to ask them about how pre-season's gone and what their expectations are for the coming season. So we've got all that coming up. So, Abby, do you want to say bye to everyone for now? Bye for now, for now. So Abby will see you on Sunday when we uh, take on Watford at home in our first league game. So she'll be back for that vlog. So yeah. without further ado, uh, let's take a look at the new teams to our league. A little later. Okay, so Abby's gone to bed now. So I'm going to take you through a just a brief overview of the league that um, Pompey play in. So Pompey play in the Women's National League South. It's the third tier of women's football and um, so the equivalent of the men and our tier is divided into north and south and we play in the south now above us is the women's championship which are um, part-time football teams so they get paid but they're part-timers and then above us is a fully professional women's super league now in Pompey's league uh, we have got four new teams so I'm just going to tell you who they are and just take you for a, a brief bit about them so first off is relegated Yeovil Town. A much like club from the Women's Super League, they found themselves relegated two divisions after entering administration. Uh, unfortunate for them, but I expect they're going to be pretty strong even though they've lost their manager and, and a few players, which is inevitable when you go from being a full-time professional club down to the third tier. Then we've got Keensham Town, who won the Division 1 South West with a goal difference of plus 100 exactly over 20 league games. That's a very impressive uh, feat and um, they actually beat us in the Cup last year. We played them away from home and they beat us with a last minute goal um, and they played very well, an impressive side. Next we have um, Division 1 South East um, champions Crawley Wasps. Uh, they won their league by an impressive 11 points last season and I reckon they're going to do pretty well uh, in this division. They've got some good players there uh, and a good spirit around their club. Then we've got Hounslow. So they're not a new team, they're a rebranded team. So they were previously QPR but the players and managers have moved from QPR over to Hounslow and have retained their league place um, that QPR occupied last year. So um, QPR... So the same players and staff finished second from bottom last season and I'm sure they're going to be looking to improve on that for the new season. So let's have a look to see how those teams fit into our league. Um, I've been following the transfer activity of the teams in our league. Um, as always, there's been quite a lot of player movement. That's quite common for our division. Um, Pompey have done very well to retain the majority of their players, uh, which is always a positive sign in this league. It's always, um, due to the amount of players moving around, it's always quite difficult to predict where teams are going to finish. Um, my personal opinion, and it is just my personal opinion, but I think there's probably about six, seven teams in the division, including Pompey, who could win the league. The favourites are probably going to be Oxford, Yeovil and Cardiff. Uh, Oxford have strengthened really well uh, over the summer, notably signing uh, ex-Pompey players Ellie Kirby and Daisy McLachlan. Um, I expect that they were already strong, so I expect that they'll do pretty well. Cardiff ended last season extremely well, finishing in a deserved second place. Um, I reckon they'll push on this season. Uh, and Yeovil, despite, as I said earlier, losing their manager and a fair chunk of their squad, I still think that they're going to be a strong side this year. They've still got a, a good setup down there, and they could be up there contending for the league title. 
the league title is obviously what everybody wants because that is the position that um, gets you into the playoff for promotion. So that's what everyone's going to be aiming for. Out of the new teams into our league, I think people would be a fool to underestimate um, Keensham and Crawley. Uh, both are quality sides and showed that throughout the season. I can see them both securing mid-table positions and who knows, um, Keensham have, have got good finance behind them. Crawley are a, a high-spirited side. Maybe they'll do even better than mid-table. We'll have to wait and see. So let's have a quick look at the fixtures then. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time here because the women's fixtures um, tend to change a lot due to uh, like the cut runs and the weather and things like that. So let's just have a quick overview of where we are. Um, so you might notice that if you're not familiar with women's football, there's quite a few gaps around the November, January period. That's because of the cup competitions. Pompey playing the FA Cup, the League Cup, the PDFA and the Hampshire Cup. So those fixtures generally make up about one third of our total fixtures for the season. So that's why there's gaps left to accommodate those. So Pompey open up the season with a Watford double header. You can only see one of the Watford fixtures on that list. And um, we actually take on um, Watford at home twice in a row, once in the league, and then we take them on again at the PMC on the 25th of August in the Cup as well. So um, that's how we're going to start our season. Then we're going to go on to face some quite um, stern tests early on with in Cardiff and Oxford. So it's going to be an interesting start to the season and maybe an idea of where we're going to going to be this season. Um, so yeah, that's all. I'm not. Like I say I'm not going to dwindle on this fixture list. Uh, it's all up for change. Hopefully we can end with two home games, um, and it stays the same. That would be brilliant to end a, a, a double header at the PMC. But we'll see. So let's take a look at the new signings for Pompey over the summer. Um, they've recruited extremely well. Um, we had a few players leave, um, notably defender Ellie Kirby. Um, and strikers Rachel Panting and Shannon Albury but Jay has um, brought in replacements for those and I really like the look of our new signings so let's um, introduce them to you so first up we got defender Laura Ingram she joined us from Chichester now Chichester had a remarkable season last year finishing third uh, Laura featured 18 times for them and is a welcome addition to our bat line then we've got midfielder Roxy Lee Stewart. So she joins us from them lot down the road. Now, Roxy spent a lot of time in America. Uh, she'll be wearing number 18 for Pompey. Um, from what I've seen of her in pre-season, she looks a really um, cool-headed, calm and composed midfielder. I'm really looking forward to seeing what she can add in that role. Then we've got winger Hayley Bridge, who joins us from the Lewis Development Squad, where she scored 10 goals in 51 games. She looks to be a very positive attacking player down the right-hand side. And um, I'm looking to see um, how well she links up with our new front line. Talking of which, uh, our next addition is striker Charmaine True, who joins us from championship side Crystal Palace, who we beat at the weekend. She netted a whopping 33 goals for their reserves last year um, and made her first team debut. Um, Charmaine has been at Pompey before, so is returning home. The girl scores goals for fun, so I'm really excited to see her back in a Pompey shirt um, and to see what she can do. Finally, we've got striker Tamsin de Bunsen, who joins us from Reading. Now, Tamsin has worked her way back from an injury hit campaign last season. Um, Tamsin has got what can only be described as an artillery cannon of a left foot. I'm not joking, she absolutely funders that ball. Um, as we saw against Crystal Palace at the weekend, um, there's no way you were stopping that shot when she scored her goal. Um, I'm really, really excited to see what Townsend can do. If she, if she can get properly fit and play a good 20, 30 games, I think she's going to be a serious, serious player in this division. So that rounds up our new signings. Uh, on Sunday, Pompey, as I've said before, Pompey took on championship side Crystal Palace in our final pre-season game. Um, the match finished 5-1 to Pompey, which, uh, I mean, that result is going to seriously turn heads for the teams in our league. Crystal Palace were not a weak inside. They had their first team side out. And to be honest, there's no way you could tell they were the championship side. We were fantastic. And I mean 
fantastic superb performance really gets our hopes up for this new season um, and after the game I grabbed a few of the players and the manager Jay Sadler and I asked them about the upcoming season so let's see what they've got to say Okay, so we're joined by uh, Pompey Women Manager Jay Sadler and Captain Amelia Southgate. Thanks for joining us. No problem. So in our little pre-season uh, vlog here, we're just going to ask you some questions. So Abby, what's your first question? Who's it for? Um, Amelia, and how has the pre-season been? Yeah, really good. Um, we've brought in some great players and we've retained the players that we wanted to retain from last year. I think to end on a result like that, it's just really positive. The way that we increased the ability of the teams we were playing week in, week out to then end by being a championship side before we go into next week's yeah pretty good what's the aim for this season win the league <laughs> well <laughs> no holding back i like that you like that abby you got a question Not for right jane right. abby um just over here um are you happy with how pre-season has gone yeah very happy with how pre-season has gone um i think especially in the training element of it trying to transfer what we want um, onto the pitch um, and like Millsy alluded to kind of progressing who we're playing to try and get the outcomes that we've worked on um, and then obviously today ending on that performance obviously very very impressed um, and then to gain a 5-1 result against any championship team is amazing um, it's a great step but the hard work's yet to come what what do you new signings bring to the squad depth um, balance um, and quality um, as well as that they bring great character um, I think they understand what it means to represent this club to represent this team this group of players and um, we're very blessed to have such a, a tight-knit group I'd say um, everyone um, no egos everyone um, is really, really like I said tight together but they bring a lot of quality as well um, as you see today um, to have players like Tam and Tonks and um, all that on your bench is, is absolutely crazy. But the players that were out on the pitch put in a shift and it's exciting times ahead. But like I said to everyone at the end, we've got to keep our feet on the ground, one game at a time and, and just see where we go. Now, this is a funny question. <laughs> <laughs> Last season, you often warmed up um, corner shots from outside the box. Will you be doing that again this season? <laughs> so you weren't giving our keepers much of a chance in the warm-up, were you? Yeah, no. to the top corner? <laughs> Same strategy to ruin their confidence or what are you going to yeah, change Well, it up this it? is the thing is I actually don't agree with doing it because I believe it does actually kill confidence. However, Hannah is, is, is different, unique, <laughs> lovely girl and wants it so i'm more than happy to oblige and smash balls at her <laughs> and i hope she can save one because if she can save a powerful shot maybe she might be able to transfer it and save it on a, on a pitch okay and you've got one for amelia um funny question yeah <laughs> oh she's on the back of the women's team was highly promoted on the tannoyd scoreboard and signs how does that make you feel so at the men's game yesterday so. there was loads of stuff about the women's yeah. game yeah. all game how yeah. does that make you feel as a player? That's class and anything that's going to attract more fans down here is a positive. It's great to be a PMC again this year, to be still be playing in Pompey and then to start the season with two home games. And if we can perform like this every week, then hopefully the fans will want to come back. I didn't see it because Trammy Rovers were in the away end. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, it's a good win. It's it a good win. Good. And it's great to be promoted. Yeah. We've got some fantastic people now at the club. The women's club, Eric, Bill, Helen, fantastic people like yourselves helping promote it um, and then everyone like Mark Catlin, Anna, Sophie, they, they, they really helped us promote and push it and give us a sustainable model moving forward which has now given us a great foundation on the pitch to really push um, and, and, and go for the title. Yeah it's good. Well thanks for joining us Cheers. and we'll see you next week at Watford. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> bye. Okay so we're joined on our vlog by Charmaine True, new signing, well re-signing if you <laughs> like. So Abby's got some questions for you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. What position do you play? Striker. Who did your sign who did you sign from? I signed from Crystal Palace. How many goals do you want to score this season? Um I reckon I'll hope to get over fifteen. Oh wow, well done. No, I like that. So a lot of strikers okay, when, exactly when No no not at all, but when we interview them they're really reluctant to put figures to Yeah, but I like what to set gonna... my target quite high just to push me. Otherwise if I hit it then I might not be like trying my best as much. Oh fair enough, like the confidence. So how are you finding it, Pompey so far? Um I feel like I fit in straight away. I'm absolutely loving it. Um just being at my local club. Um 
and obviously I deep down I always wanted to come back here. Um, I just thought I'd get a bit more experience going to a championship side and um, now I think I'm ready for first team football. So you did really well today, you won the penalty. You did well driving into the box. Yeah, is no. that what we can expect of you this season? Yeah, I definitely thought I'll come off the bench and I just wanted to run at them knowing it was my old team. I wanted just to show them like, what, like, how I've developed from them and that um, I should be playing first team football. So I know you have your nails done quite often. There you go. We got a little. Glue. <laughs> do they ever get broken during the game? They're they actually quite, do. They're um, quite impressive. If you see me really upset in a game, it usually is because I've broken nails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Abby, have you got another question? Well, this is a funny question. So, can you give me in ten seconds? Can you give me five words to in ten seconds to describe words that rhyme with your surname? So true. Who? Lou? <laughs> do? Woo? Moo, Sue, Family. Oh, um, smashed it. And so, well done for saying Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you wanted me to say? Have you voted that down? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> but yeah, we did want you to say Sue. Well planned. So Charmaine, after the result today, um, confidence must be high in the squad. So what are we looking at for next week? Got Watford, they're going to be a strong side, so... Yeah, basically, I uh, said on the team talk at the end um, that we need to definitely take this into next week. Um, I think playing a high-level team and showing what we can do, I think we've got a chance to beat Watford and actually go on and win the league, hopefully. Brilliant. Well, thanks for joining us on the vlog and uh, good luck next week. Thank you very much. Right, joined on the vlog by Hannah Horton, Pompey's number one. Um, Hannah... That was a fantastic performance today. Um, how have you found pre-season as a whole? Yeah, pre-season's been tough. Um, I think as a team and individually, we've really been pushed hard for it, not just fitness, but the technical aspect of it as well. And we've really been challenged. So I feel like overall, the team's just come on leaps and bounds and showed today as well. If you looked at the pre-season fixtures, like we did as fans, and given us the results we had, I, I never, Bye, I mate. never would have <laughs> predicted that set of results I think we've we've been exceptional this pre-season yeah no definitely and I know a few people at first a few comments were flying around of why would you choose teams in lower leagues but actually we didn't we didn't think those scores would be that and then we've played Brighton and we every time that we get tested we seem to come out on top and even Lil last week like the performance and the scoreline doesn't actually represent what happened in the game we had our chances they took theirs they had two chances they took theirs we didn't, but we match them and we, we can compete. And then today, to beat a team in the league above 5-1 is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it was a brilliant performance. Abby, do you have a question for Hannah? Um, how do you think today's performance went for you? For me or for <laughs> the team? Well, both. Both. <laughs> um, the team, the girls were incredible today. Like, we knew it would be tough. We knew how they play. We knew all over the tops. So we knew actually it's going to be a fast-paced game. We're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to cover a lot. But I thought the girls were absolutely amazing. Um, from my point of view, I thought, no, it was good. Like, the girls helped me out as well, so it wasn't really too much to test me. Most of the shots were straight at me, a few balls in the air. But the girls have just put on a hell of a performance and actually we're showing that now we're ready for the league and come and get us. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel that we've stepped up a level from last season and we're going to need to do that, aren't we? Because if you look at the strength of the league, it's definitely the strongest it's been in a few years. So are you looking forward to that challenge? Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait for the season to start showing what we've been working on and what we can give now. I think it'd be great. Brilliant. Okay, well, thanks for joining us, Hannah. And yeah. we'll see you next yeah, thank week. Thank you. See you next week. Mm. Okay, John on the vlog by Ailey Curry, a defender slash winger. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. Um, Abby, you've got a question for Ailey. Um, how do you think pre-season went for you? I think personally, for me, it's gone really well. Um, it's a new position, which I'm really enjoying. I like being higher up the pitch. I like a chance to have a shot, even if it is for 25. So for those who don't know, you were predominantly left back, proper left yeah. back last season. Yeah. And I was now with this new ball. formation, you're kind of a bit further up the wing? Yeah, so when I joined the club, I was a centre back and then I played left back last year and now I'm playing left wing back, which is again is something different, which I enjoy, I like a challenge, but yeah, it's good. I enjoy, I enjoy getting a little bit further up the pitch and having a bit of an opportunity to be a bit more creative simple and have a chance to be a bit more free. Do you feel it plays to your strengths because you've got one of the best like striking feet in the squad so and we saw that today it's got a brilliant goal today which I'll show in a minute on the vlog. Oh 
Um, and you scored a couple like that in pre-season. So um, do you feel like that's a, a real strength you bring to the side when you're playing further forward? Yeah, I think it gives me an opportunity to create something out of nothing. And I, I like a shot from distance. That was when I was younger. That's one thing I was pretty good at. Um, and it's nice to be able to do it again. And when you need something, I felt like today at that point it came at the right time. It gave us a foothold in the game and it, it did see them off for a while. Um, and that's what we need at times. How many people say your name wrong? Yeah, that was that's a good one. <laughs> Probably 95% of people. So when I was a referee, people used to phone up to confirm the game and they'd be like, can I speak to... Um... I was like, go on, just, just give Hayley. it a go. Go on, just give it a go. Like, e Elady. Eilid, Elida Her. <laughs> like, and in the register at school, it'd come down and they'd be like, whoever was before me, and then they'd be like, and I was like, oh, that'd be me then, that'd be Ailey, yeah, yeah, so. But it's not, the announcer even got my goal wrong today, so he gave it to Jade Widows, so. Oh, no Never way, oh, definitely your goal. <laughs> I'm taking it, it was mine. Fair How be. many people spell your name? 100% of people, 100%. <laughs> I have to spell it out every time, and even then I get to the D, or I get to the E at the start, and people go, what? And then I get to the D, and then they're like, no, I've gone, I'm baffled. So back to football then with a the last question. What is our realistic aim for this season? I think it has to be the title. If we're not aiming to win the league, then there's no point turning up. Oh, that's, that's, that's what very we pompy. have to do. <laughs> that, that's what we have pompy. to do. There's no, that's very true there's no point aiming for second or third or fourth or fifth. You've got to go out there to win every game and that has to be our aim. And we'll take it one game at a time. We're not going to go and say, you know, we will win every game, but we have to take it one game at a time. And if our aim is not to win the league, then there's no point. Brilliant. Okay, Lee, thanks for joining us and uh, you see you next week welcome. at Watford. Good job. So that concludes our pre season roundup. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, if you could like or comment on this video, I'd really appreciate it. And more importantly, if you could subscribe, subscriber numbers really help to promote our videos and ensure that we get more viewers, which will promote Pompey Women in the women's game. So if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could. Now we'll be back again next week, uh, this time next week with our first vlog of the season for Watford at home. Uh, hopefully if you're around and you fancy coming down to see the women's team, come along, Baffins Milton at 2pm kickoff. The girls would really appreciate your support and from what I've seen in the pre-season, we've been on fire pre-season so it'd be fantastic to reward the girls with a big gate to cheer them on in their first league game. So thanks for joining me, have a great week and I'll see you soon.